نحمد ابو نسلی و نسلی علی رسول الکریم و صلاۃ وسلام علی سید الانبیاء و خاتم النبیین محمد صلی اللہ علیہ و علیہ وسلم اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر ویورس ٹوڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپوز فردر دیٹ غلام احمد قادیانی غلام احمد مرزا غلام احمد اف قادیان واز ا فالس پروفٹ اینڈ اے فالس مسایہ Uh, we are exploring his books, we are reading his books. Brother Shamsuddin and I have taken upon us ourselves this responsibility to expose the false and fake claims of Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani to be a messiah. Um, uh, I came across a very interesting fact when I was reading through his books. Um, uh, you know his books have been collected in volumes of Ruhani Khazain uh, by his followers after his death. And while going through them, I came across a very interesting uh, contradiction. Contradiction in his own talk, like he says left in one place and right in the other place, and he means one and the same thing, and it's not possible. You know that by the reasoning of logic, it's not possible. Um, and it's in the same book, by the way. The name of the book is Aina-e Kamalate Islam. It has been translated into Urdu. Um, I have done the translation into English, a freehand translation, and you can check it uh, on the alislam.org, their website as well. Now, in um, Aina Kamalati Islam is the name of the book. It's very interesting that he says one thing and then a few pages down uh, in the book, he contradicts himself. No true prophet, no true messiah, not even an honest person can do that, that they contradict themselves. Um, I've done a freehand translation and I can read it to you from, from my own notes. I've got my notes here. Um, on, and now, mind you that there are many versions, there are many prints, many bindings of this book. Uh, so the binding that I have, I will refer to the page number from that binding. Uh, we will, uh, I will also put it on the, um, uh, in, uh, you know, the scan of that page. So you will be able to read it in Urdu. And I'm not sure what page you will have in your version that you have. But the one, the book that I have, uh, that's got pages. My pages are according to that. Um, so on page number 163 of Aina-e Kamalate Islam, Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani writes, and I'm reading from my notes now, uh, that if you hide the truth and give way to the falsehood, because of that, Allah will curse you. and natural divine light be taken away from you so this is absolutely right i mean if you if you're lying if you're concealing a truth if you're hiding a truth uh, then you allah will allah will curse you it says that allah will curse you that's what he says there uh, so you have a lanat of allah lanat allah upon you um, you will have a curse from allah and the divine light the one with, with which you recognize the reality the truth the facts It will be taken away from you. I agree with this statement because it's true. If you've been told a haq, a truth, then you must tell it to the others. And especially if you claim to be a prophet, then it's your duty, it's your right, it's, it's, it's obligatory that you reveal that truth that Allah has told you uh, to the people. And don't conceal it. You have no reason to conceal it. So this is page number 163 of Aina Kamalati Islam. Now let's see in the same book, Aina Kamalati Islam, further down in this book, on uh, page number 198, what does he has to say about himself? That when he was revealed with the truth by Allah, what did he do with this truth? Remember in 163, on page 163, he said that Allah will curse you if you hide the truth. And on page 198, what does he say? He says, and I'm reading from my uh, translation, From Urdu, it says one ilham, out of many ilhams that he had, one ilham is that he, means Allah, has made me Isa ibn Maryam. So what? One ilham was that Allah has made Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani Isa ibn Maryam. He has made me Isa ibn Maryam. By Allah, now he's taking an oath, a swear by the name of Allah. He says, by Allah, I knew for a very long time that I have been made Isa ibn Maryam. And I am the one. Who was going to descend from skies, from heavens? Who's, who is the, the word he's used is uh, to descend from high place. That I'm, I'm the one who is going to descend. Now that's fine. Up to here it's fine. This is his alham. We agree with it or not. But this is his alham. And he says that I knew for a very long time that I am is Allah has made me Sabin Maryam. And he said I knew it for a very long time. And I knew that it is me who is going to be descent. Like Isa ibn Maryam. 
Then he writes after that, but, listen carefully, but I kept it a secret. I did not tell anyone. I kept it a secret. It's such a big thing that people of the Muslims of 13 centuries did not know this. Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani was revealed such a big truth. Had no instruction from Allah. He doesn't say anywhere that you must hide it. He was revealed this truth. But he said, I kept it a secret. That it might have some explanation. So now, because his faith was that Isa ibn Maryam will descend from heavens. He kept that faith and it says later in his book, I did not change my belief and stuck to it for 10 years. For 10 years, I did not change my faith that Isa ibn Maryam will descend from skies, from heavens. Although I have been told by Allah, I concealed that truth. I, I hate that truth and I did not share it with anyone. I did not tell anyone for 10 years and I waited and I thought there must be an explanation. I did not change my aqidah. He says, I did not change my faith. Ilham is telling him that he is Isa ibn Maryam and he did not change his faith. And he said, I, I hid it for 10 years. Now I'm asking Qadiani's, Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani, if he was, if he, if he was alive himself, I would put this question to him that on page 163, you are reading, you are writing that if you hide the haq, the reality that Allah will curse you and you are the cursed one. And now you are saying that it was revealed to you in an ilham that you are Isa ibn Maryam and you hid it, hid it for 10 years. You concealed it from people. You did not tell anyone. You did not change even your akida even after very clear cut ilham. Viewers, I ask you this question. The people who follow Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani, I ask you this question sincerely from my heart. To be honest with you, be honest to yourself. And ask yourself this question. A person, can he contradict himself such so big? In one place he's saying, I am Isa ibn Maryam. I knew it and I hid it. And before that he's already said that if you hide the truth, if you hide the reality and conceal it, you are cursed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the light of, of uh, enlightenment is taken away from you. So I leave this question with you that any person who claims to be a genuine person, forget claiming to be a prophet or a messiah or a promised messiah or any, anything like that, a higher level. Even a genuine person who is an honest person will not make such a disgrace, disgraceful contradiction to himself in the same book. So please view your ideas, your ideology of following Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani very carefully. The man clearly has misled you. He didn't even know himself what he's talking about and contradicts himself many places time and over again. Wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.